Hello and welcome to TYT Sports this morning. We have a very okay panel. Uh, ben Mankiewicz is here once again. Uh, ben, hi. I'd like you to cover this in case I knock it over. Philadelphia is here, by the way. You can follow her stuff at youtube.com slash Philadelphia. This isn't Pop Trigger. We don't applaud our guests. And, of course, uh, Steve Ho. Now, here we go. Let's start out with the... Uh, you know, why don't, why don't I let you start off, actually? As many people know, Philadelphia is a humongous Eagles fan. So uh, tell me a little bit about what you saw. Eagles game yeah. was quite depressing to watch as an Eagles fan. Rightfully so, yeah. Boring for any type of football fan. It was pretty much punt after punt after punt. 18 punts. Yeah, it broke the record. Jesus. It broke the record. 18 punts. It's an ugly football game. was 17 back in 1933 for the most combined punts. In an Eagles wow. game or in any NFL? In any NFL game. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. So they, Amazing. the Eagles are good at breaking good records. Good statistic, no. Yeah. They're, they're good at breaking records, but in a bad way this season. Sure. So they also recorded a new franchise record for nine consecutive home losses. Mm -hmm. And I think now is the time that, Rick, you should play a clip from Jenk last week <laughs> about how it's the Eagles. This is what we've learned. The <laughs> NFC East belongs to the Eagles, he said with great assurance last week. Yeah. yeah. The Cowboys are done, the Eagles rise to the top, just because uh, Jenk is always the basis of one week that impressed him well, and he made that Well, for call. Jenk's reference, can we just pull up the, the graphic of the NFC East very quickly? And how bad did Nick Foles look? I mean, we he, talk about how bad he was, but seeing it first He looked horrible, time. especially coming off of that win versus Tampa Bay where he was But accurate. it was Tampa Bay. Yeah, but Tampa Bay has a I'd say a good defense they compared one, to the Cowboys. They also have a dumb coach, so That's throw, throw okay, that into coaching, the equation right. as well. Just real quick, Tampa Bay's defense, because I had them in Fantasy League. Yes. It's been a, just a, a, a bottoming out for some reason. They're great earlier against the Saints, against the Patriots. Other Patriots, shaky offense. But uh, they've been horrendous the last two weeks. Wait, yes. We are in Southern California. Uh, a, a USC product was actually inserted <laughs> into the game. He had more passing yards than Nick Foles mm -hmm. in about a quarter and change, I would say. But he also threw, you could say, four interceptions. One of them was called yeah. back, but he threw he threw three interceptions. So, I mean, is it now, could you say, not necessarily a lost season, but what, what exactly should we expect from the Eagles now in 2013? I wouldn't say it's a lost season. I think there's still one game out of the division. The October Cowboys versus the December Cowboys are a lot different. And Great we point. play them the final game of the season, and that could be for the division and for a playoff spot. So I think if the Eagles, they face the Giants this coming week, which the Giants are the worst team in one of the worst divisions, we have a good shot at getting that. They are? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> the 0-6 Giants, yeah. you know. I'm We're probably going to get a win tonight, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. We probably <laughs> won't win. They're playing the... The Vikings, the Vikings yeah. 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 With Josh Freeman. With Josh Freeman, yeah. I think that there's a, you know, I, I don't, I think that almost every game in that division is going to be a crapshoot. I think that, we, I think we should acknowledge that the Cowboys damn near beat the Broncos, then beat the Redskins solidly, beat the Ra beat the Eagles The Washington solidly. football team, you Right, mean? the Washington, excuse me, the Washington football team. Yeah. Like, yeah, right now, there's no question who the best team in that division is. It's maybe sure. painful to say, but right now there's, it seems a little doubt, but as you say, they're only a game out, and next week Mike Vick uh, looks like he's going to play. Yeah. Yeah, not fu not play. fully healthy, but he's going to play. Um, but you know, the, does anybody here think the Giants are going to go 0 16? No, they're going to win some games. They'll figure it out. So you know, are you guys well, they'll beat the Eagles at home. I mean, <laughs> that, no, I mean that's obviously it'll the be solution. Ten but consecutive I, losses. But at that home, doesn't man. even that wouldn't even that wouldn't surprise me in any way if the right. Giants get a little bit. Healthy and the Eagles with an injured Mike Vick next week. If the Giants reel off a couple of wins and they're standing here at three and six, and then they're talking about, hey, we're only two games out of first place. <laughs> <laughs> Season's no. not over. I mean, you know, the Redskins, uh, Washington somehow beat the Bears last night without. I mean, I mean, there was a reason they should have beat them easier. The fact is, losing Cutler didn't seem to make any difference. Bears still scored whenever they needed to score. They put up 41 points with the backup. But back Washington, up. right? Washington should mm -hmm. feel like, hey, we're two and four. We're right there in it, but they can't stop anyone. Now, since you're transitioning right now into that. By the way, Nick Foles, 11-29 yes. for 80, 80 yards. yards. That is 29 passes, 80 yards. That is, that is, that's a day that's where good, you, right? that's a day where you punt uh, nine times. That's a, that's it a, is. Yeah. It was overthrowing I didn't watch all day, the game. underthrowing all day. I watched a part of it. It was so boring. I just, I turned to a different game. I couldn't watch it. I bet on the Cowboys, so I was, uh, I was very pleased. Mazel tov. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't make any bets this week. No, that's probably a good <laughs> idea, especially with the Eagles.